We want to simplify the given complex fraction and we'll show how to simplify the complex fraction using two different methods. Method one, we begin by simplifying the numerator and denominator if possible. So looking at the fraction on top, let's write it as x over, x squared minus four is a difference of squares, so we'll have two binomial factors. We'll have a factor of x plus two and a factor of x minus two. Remember to try to simplify a fraction, we do want to factor any expressions. And on the bottom, we have five over the quantity x minus two. So notice how in this case, the fraction on top and the fraction on bottom don't simplify. So we move to step two. Step two, we write the complex fraction as a division problem. Remember, a fraction bar means division. So because this fraction bar means division, we can write this as the fraction on top. divided by the fraction on the bottom. From here, we'll write the quotient as a product. Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So we can write this as the first fraction stays the same. And then instead of dividing by this fraction, we multiply by the reciprocal, so we'll have times We'll have a factor of x minus two on top and a factor of five on the bottom. Now before multiplying, we want to simplify. Notice how there's a common factor of x minus two between the numerator and denominator. x minus two over x minus two simplifies to one. Now we multiply. On the top, we just have x times one, which is x. On the bottom of the denominator, we have the quantity x plus two times five, or five times the quantity x plus two. So this is the simplified form of the complex fraction. If we wanted to though, we could distribute the five in the denominator and write this as x over five x plus 10. Either form is acceptable. But let's see the denominator in factored form and enter x over five times the quantity x plus two. To do this correctly though, we should use the equation tool called MathQuill or from the keyboard, we would need parentheses around the entire denominator. So using the keyboard, we'd have to enter x divided by, open parenthesis, five times the quantity x plus two, then another closed parenthesis. Now let's simplify this again using the second method. So beginning with the original complex fraction with this denominator in factored form, step one is to find the least common denominator of the fractions in the numerator and denominator. So notice how on top, we have a denominator of the quantity x plus two times the quantity x minus two. On the bottom, we have a denominator of the quantity x minus two. So the least common denominator would have to contain a factor of x plus two and a factor of x minus two. So now we know the LCD is the quantity x plus two times the quantity x minus two. We move to step two, where we multiply the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction by the LCD. So we're gonna take this entire complex fraction and multiply the top by the quantity x plus two times the quantity x minus two, and we'll multiply the bottom by the same. Remember, when we multiply the numerator and denominator of a fraction by the same value or same expression, we get an equivalent fraction. Now looking at just the top, if it's helpful, we can think of these two factors as a fraction with the denominator of one. So when we multiply, notice how we can simplify before multiplying. X plus two over X plus two simplifies the one, and so does X minus two over X minus two. So now multiplying on the top, we just have X times one, which is X. Now looking at the bottom, again, we can think of these two factors as a fraction with the denominator of one. Notice how we have a common factor of X minus two between the numerator and denominator, which would simplify to one. So now multiplying on the bottom, we have five times the quantity x plus two, which we already know from method one is a simplified form of the complex fraction. Or if we wanted to multiply the denominator, we'd have x over five x plus 10. I hope you found this helpful.